Hi everyone and welcome to Smart Alex Coaching. We create videos to teach mathematics in an easy to understand way and in today's video we're going to be looking at the connection between the function f of x, its first derivative f dash x and the second derivative f double dash x in terms of its turning points, concavity and point of inflection. Let's start off with the graph of the function f of x as shown on the right. From this graph, we're going to sketch the graph of the first derivative f dash x. f dash x is a graph that represents a gradient function of f of x. What that means is that if you were to draw tangents along the curve, the values of the gradients of these tangents is going to change for different values of x. So in sketching f dash x, we're concerned about plotting the values of these gradients. First, let's identify some critical points, starting off with where we have horizontal tangents. Where we have horizontal tangents, the gradient of the tangent is equal to zero. Another word, f dash x is equal to zero. So I'm going to be able to mark it here on my x axis of my f dash x curve. When we have got sections of the curve that is decreasing, in other words, the gradient is negative, like here, f dash x is going to be negative as well. And so it's going to be below the x-axis. This. When the curve is increasing, the gradient of the tangents are positive. In other words, f dash x is positive. So the curve of f dash x is going to be above the x-axis. And here's a quick sketch of my f dash x curve. Next, we're going to sketch the graph of the second derivative. The graph of the second derivative is now the gradient function of f dash x. So repeating the same procedure, first identify the sections where we have got horizontal tangents because this is going to correspond to where f double dash x is equal to zero. Okay. Then we're going to find sections of the curve that is decreasing. So it's going to be this section here. And when f dash x is decreasing, f double dash x will be negative. So it's going to be there like this. When f dash x is increasing, f double dash x, the second derivative, is going to be positive. In other words, above the x-axis. So here's a quick sketch of my f double dash x curve. Now, f double dash x, our second derivative function, relates to our original function f of x in the sense that it tells us the concavity of f of x. When f double dash x is positive, so when f double dash x is positive, the curve concaves up like this. When f double dash x is negative, the curve concaves down like this. So we can see here this section where we have got the curve being concave up. This is where f double dash x is positive. So you can see here as well this section where it concaves up. That's where f double dash x is positive. When the curve concaves down, f double dash x is negative. So you see this section here, the curve concaves down. And so f double dash x is negative for that section. So how do we use all of this? Firstly, we can use this to help us find the stationary or the turning points on f of x. To find the stationary point, we're going to be wanting to look for f dash x 
is equal to zero. So you can see here that here we've got stationary points and all of this corresponds to when f dash x is equal to zero. Once we find the stationary point, we also want to determine their nature, whether it is maximum or minimum. So if it's maximum, f dash x is zero and f double dash x is less than zero. Another word we have got where we have a horizontal tangent and that section of the curve also concaves down like this, producing a maximum. For minimum, we need f dash x is zero. Another way we have a horizontal tangent and f double dash x to be greater than zero. Another way it concaves up. So here we have got our maximum and here we have our minimum. Now when f dash x is zero and f double dash x is equal to zero, this is only a possible point of inflection, right? It's not, you're not guaranteed to get a point of inflection. It's only a possible point of inflection. And in my next video, I'm going to go through that point a little bit more. Of course, we can also use f double dash x is equal to zero to find possible inflection point. But in order to make sure it is a point of inflection, we need to do some further checking. We need to make sure that f dash x sign remains unchanged on either side of x. Or we can also check that f double dash x sign changes to indicate that there's been change in concavity. Because remember, the point of inflection is where the concavity on the curve changes. But more on that in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found that helpful. And if you did find it helpful, please help us by clicking like, comment, share it and subscribe. We upload videos weekly. Any recommendations on what videos you would like us to make, please email us or just leave a comment. Thank you.